afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Detroit Tigers and the Baltimore Orioles. Orioles baseball coming up next. Keegan Aiken will be the starter for the O's in this contest. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. So striding in, Victor Reyes to show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Reyes. First pitch coming, here it is. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for bowl one. Well, guys, these Orioles entering play today, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, Matty, this is the big one right here. They split the first two games of this series. You want to steal one right here and be feeling good about yourself. Yeah, Dero, I think one of the things you want to do, you get to the third game, you'd like to win this series and finish it off by winning game three. It's always nice to win a series, whether it's at home or on the road. So this is a big one for this ball club. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. fouled off the mercury still rising here at the ballpark 93 degrees our game time temperature started to go did he hold up in time yes says the first base umpire it's ball three now Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone on strikes to start the afternoon. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. The next batter, Jamer Candelario. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. 22 home runs on the ledger for him so far this year. Now the 1 0. Aiken, a left hander who goes an even six feet, he's in his rookie year here at the big league level. The 1 1. He's in there for strike number two. And set up behind the dish is Gary Simmons, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Dero, this is Gary Simmons. He's the kind of umpire that pitchers really like to throw to. Yeah, I'm okay with it, though, Dan. You want to go east west, I'll make the adjustment. It's the north south that'll kill you. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Looked to be a pitch that caught a lot of the plate right there. So that might be a little indication of the strike zone we can expect the rest of the way. To short, hit hard. Iglesias is up with it. And there's out number two. That was hurt. So a moment now to take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Detroit Tigers. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matt, we'll see if Jonathan Scope can keep up the hot bat. Looking at his stats, I was really impressed with the fact that he's hit four bombs in his last ten games. Lately, he's been the guy to watch, and I think he's ready to do some more damage right now. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera. He swings and grounds it to short, and the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Now with 
the plate, C.J. Crone. He's, of course, a long ball threat, currently third in the American League in that category. Yeah, it's still early in the year right now, and this guy's not known to be a huge power threat, but he's gotten off to an amazing start, and I'd like to see him have a hot season and ride it out. First pitch on its way. Nope, ball one. One and no pitch on the way. Now he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. Not quite out of here. It's off the out of town scoreboard. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. The more things change, the more they stay the same. This guy's been producing at the plate all year long, and this at bat is no different. He's probably surprised it didn't leave the yard after the season he's having, but he'll just have to settle for a double. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Scope has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. A ball and a strike. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Cabrera at third, Crone at second with two gone. Hit sharply on the ground, and that's through into center field. Base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Hey, one of the things you want to do, Dior, is strike early, and they've done just that with a big hit driving in, too. Yeah, Dan, great to grab an early lead right there, especially when you can throw up a crooked number for your pitcher. Standing in now, Nico Goodrum, as he lifts it in the air to right field. Mancini makes the catch for out number three. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. Detroit is out in front, two to nothing. Spencer Turnbull gets the starting nod for the Tigers in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, listen, you don't have to know much about statistics to know that this is a bad one. How about this guy on the year as a starting pitcher? Left-handers are hitting over 300 against this guy. He's going to have to change something, or he won't be pitching very long in this league. Leading off. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. So, fellas, these Tigers, as they begin play here today, they've been in a nice little groove of winning three of their last four games. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, D-Row? Try to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here. Losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and hopefully winning this series by pulling one out here today. Yeah, Dan, they were able to shout. Oh, wow, what a stop. He is out. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. So a fine play down there at the hot corner to take a base hit away, and that would appear to be a good segue to check out the league leaderboard for team fielding percentage. And you can see that the Tigers currently lead the AL in that category. Into the box, Ramon Urias. It was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Nope. Ball one, and facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Urias brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. The 1-0 is a ball high and inside. So far this season, Urias is slugging just a little over 400. Not a huge threat, but he can certainly square one up on occasion. too far out in front that time he can't keep it fair two and one 
the pitch. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. And the pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Batting third, the right fielder. Now a moment here in Baltimore for the Orioles starting lineup. Mark, daytime baseball at home. What do we need to know about these guys? Matty, you take a look at this lineup, and the one thing that jumps off the page is that they're last in hits in the league. You might be able to get through a long season with two, three run homers every now and then. But I'll tell you what, you have no chance of going to the postseason and waiting on a three run bomb because you're facing nothing but ones and twos. If you're going to beat up the three, four, five guys in a rotation, you have to find a way to create more scoring opportunities against the ones and twos. The 1 0. Popped him up. Candelario in foul ground. And the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They trail things here two to nothing. Settling in now, Clint Frazier, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. One and one to count to Clint Frazier. Outside two and one. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. The two one. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Racing back the left fielder. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot that time for Clint Frazier. Home run number two for him on the year. And the Tigers take a three to nothing lead. Hey, that wasn't a particularly good pitch right here. This guy doesn't get away with very many mistakes. He's going to have to do a better job pitching out of the middle part of the plate. In now, Jake Rogers. The catcher, number 34. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Rodgers, just 24 years of age. This is his second year as a major leaguer. Behind 0-2 now. One and two to the Tigers catcher. No outs, nobody on. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. That strikeout was all about setting the hitter up with hard stuff. You can see the first three pitches are coming in fast, and then he slows it down on the fourth pitch, knowing the hitter is sort of conditioned for the hard stuff. Yet another way to upset a hitter's timing. Up next steps Kristen Stewart. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for.
And it's fouled away. The pitch. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Tried to shoot the corner, and he missed it. Two and two. One out, nobody on. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Santander waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now that the center fielder, Victor Reyes. Ready for another chance? Victor Reyes, 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a soft liner, and this will be put away easily for the out. But tack on one more to the Tiger lead thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 3-0 Tigers. Digging in, Renato Leading Nunez. Off. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Hey, we're no still guy. in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Good deception on the slider oh, there as he's way out in front. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. Hard hit to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. That is it. The center fielder, Austin Hayes. Austin Hayes, the next to bat. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey. Home one's the count. One ball, one strike. The one one. Fly ball out toward left center field. Stewart will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Batting set, the designated hitter, number 24. In now, DJ Stewart will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch coming, here it is. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Into the flag court and gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Sixth home run on the season for him. And that puts the Orioles on the board. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Well, he was on cruise control, just needing one more out to get out of the inning, but he came up with a plan. Base is empty. He didn't have to think about shooting one to the opposite field or shortening the swing to move the runners. He just wound up and let her rip. A solo that shot is, is the result. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Santander digs in at 6-2 and swings the bat from both sides of the batter's box. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. Hit down the line at first. Two out, nobody on. Got him swinging in the dirt. And that ends the inning. Orioles get a run thanks to the long ball. We've played two. It's the Tigers three and the Orioles one. Oh, 
all set for the start of the inning. And next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Jimer Candelario. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Fouled away. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Ball two. A swing and a high pop up. Davis is underneath this one. One down. Now batter, the designated hitter, Miguel Cabrera. So the base is empty here with one away, and that brings in Miguel Cabrera. First pitch of the at bat. And he popped him up back into foul territory behind first and no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Here it comes on one and one. Nope, outside. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Scorched to third. Right to him. Throw on to first. He'll take care of Cabrera for the second out. The batter. The first baseman. DJ Strong. And next it'll be the Tigers cleanup hitter CJ Crone. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. First delivery to him on the way. And he fouls this one off. Third inning here. Three to one our score. Started to go around there but he holds up ball one. Hit on the ground out to short. Iglesias is there. Throw on to Davis takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Tigers as the lead remains three to one. Welcome back as the Orioles look to get the offense going here in the third. This is a lineup that has had its struggles this season. Currently, they rank dead last in the league in team batting average and perhaps more importantly, runs scored. As one of the coaches told me, the entire organization is pulling their hair out trying to figure out how to put a more potent lineup on the field, but that's not something that changes overnight. He said it's going to be a process to become the team we want to be, but we're willing to do the hard work that it's going to take to get there. Matt? Good stuff, the Heidi. Thanks. Austin win. Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. That misses 2 and 0. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. 
been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Hit down the third baseline. Scooped up. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Batting number. The first baseman. Fred. Jason. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the left-handed power bat of Chris Davis. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. I got the count one and two. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. The 1 2. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, watching hitters swing in this, man, that's a sight of beauty. At the plate, Jose Iglesias. As he'll take a look at ball one. Iglesias. It's a strong defender playing up the middle in the infield. He's got great hands, good range, the big arm, and those skills are not lost on his teammates, his coaches, or his front office for that matter. Yeah, he has the ability. What I love about this ball player, he's got such a great internal clock. It seems like it's bang, bang at first every time, but the guy's out. He's got sure hands and an accurate throwing arm. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hot shot down the line. Oh, what a dive to first. It's there, and he's out. They call it the hot corner for a reason, and this is a beauty to take us to break. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Welcome back to Baltimore as we send you down to check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Striding in once again, Jonathan Scope. He was able to plate two with a base hit in his first appearance. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Ground ball foul down the left side. One one is taken for ball two. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad. Not good. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. And 
Into the box, Nico Goodrum. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Mancini is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Now batting the right fielder, Clint Frazier. So two outs now for the Tigers in their half of the fourth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Clint Frazier. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Throw in time and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Detroit. But they hang on to a three to one lead. So digging in now, Ramon Urias is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And that misses for ball one. And 2 0 now as this misses below the knees. Here's the pitch. count three balls and two strikes not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up expect a good pitch to swing at <laughs> slider and that's hit on the ground towards second scope has it and that's the first down. The right fielder, number 16, Greg Mancini. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the power hitting outfielder, Trey Mancini. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. One run, just one hit, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Man, it's a pitcher you have to love pitching 0 2. Multiple ways up, down, in, and out, throw the breaking ball, a lot of different ways to get guys out. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have now that bat. late action Third that just darts at the last minute. Ronaldo. They're so tough to get the bat on. No and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. And here's Renato Nunez. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the whole 0 2 now. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. The next 0 2 pitch to him misses outside. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. The 
the one two misses ball two one run just one hit and no errors for the Orioles so far grounded back up the middle and that finds its way through for a base hit. Man, I thought this at bat was over. Down 0 2. He's able to oh, work himself boy. back into a hitter's oh, count 2 2. Oh, and he's there. able to find a knock out there. Hey. Stepping in now, Austin Hayes. That's he'll ground this one foul for the first strike. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Back up to, oh no, that got him. No chance to make the play. Let's just hope he's okay on the mound. And now they'll hustle out there and attend to their pitcher. And that was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. But if there's one thing I know about this guy, he will not want to come out of this game. And from all indications, it looks like he's going to try to continue. To the plate now, DJ Stewart. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Curveball, but he can't get him to chase it one and two. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. The one two. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. Throw on to first is going to be in time and the Oriole threat goes by the wayside as the inning is over. Oriole strand a couple. Score holds. It's three to one. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And now it'll be the catcher, Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers. First pitch coming. Here it is. Count one and oh. The 1 0 home. He is swung on and missed in that strike one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now the two one. It is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Two two pitches fouled away. And the pitch. This is line to left. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. As we take a look at the pitch count, you can see that it's not that high. But you have to wonder maybe if the heat is taking it out on this guy a little bit. The weather can be the great equalizer, especially when the temps are starting to rise like this. Into the box now, Kristen Stewart. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A 
has a look now the pitch. Well his job right there at the plate is to move that runner over to third by getting the ball to the right side on the mound though they're working him away so he doesn't have a good pitch to do that with turned on down the line but a foul ball one and two now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Still even at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. in the air out to center field. Under it is Hayes and that's the first out of the inning. And the runner not tagging will retreat to second Up base. To the, the center fielder Victor Reyes. Ready for another shot now. Victor Reyes 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Their fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. One out and a runner on second base. Fouled off. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed then he's laid on the fastball he could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Sharp ground ball to third he's right there on to Davis at first and there are two away. Up next to the Tigers the third baseman Jamer Candelario. Digging in the switch hitter Jimer Candelario runner in scoring position with two gone. From the belt, the pitch. Ball one. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Santander waits on it. And the inning is over. One left for Detroit. And it's still three to one. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles offense with their manager between innings, and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs, but he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest Leading of the way. Off. Okay, thank you, Heidi. The left fielder, Anthony. Then enter. First pitch on its way. Ball. And that's up and in for ball one. Hey. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. This is flared out towards second, and this is taken for the out. Now batting, catcher, Austin wins. So stepping in, Austin wins. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First offering on its way. And that's taken for strike one. All one's the count. Bases are empty, one man out. 
Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0-2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0-2. Here's Chris Davis now. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They still trail it here, three to one. Next to the plate for the Tigers, the D.H., Miguel Cabrera. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And now a right-hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. And he falls behind now, 2-0. Oh. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Hayes is there, and he has it for the first out. Now batting, the first baseman, T.J. Rome. Here's C.J. Crone now, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. First pitch of the at-bat. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of that ball, and out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A solo home run for C.J. Crone. Number 26 for him on the season. And the Tigers have taken a 4-1 lead. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb. Hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. Now here comes the Oriole manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. Gone after five and a third here as he never really found his groove in this one. Hector Velasquez a right hander standing six foot even will take over the pitching duties here. Hector. Up next for the Tigers, the second baseman, Jonathan. Here's Jonathan Scope now. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. That evens it up one and one. The pitch. Two balls, one strike. There's 
a line drive base hit to left field. The batter, the shortstop, Nico Goodrum. So now to the plate, Nico Goodrum. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. And this is fouled at the plate. Runners on first with one down. And this one's in the dirt. In time as he just gets the tag down. The one two. Hold the string on him. Strike three swinging. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. But tack on one more to the Tiger lead thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's now 4-1 to one Detroit. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Jose Iglesias. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game that this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. First offering on its way. Hey. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Stewart is there and he makes the catch for the out. Now back, second baseman, Rubble. You're right. Coming to the plate now, Ramon Urias. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. Sixth inning, 4 to 1 is our score. Good swing there, but this is foul off to the right side. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Pops this one up. Scope onto the grass. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So he's just a third of an inning away from putting up another zero as we take a look at the ball clubs with the lowest team ERAs. And we see that these guys are currently second in the AL in that department. Coming to the plate now, Trey Mancini, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. Two out, nobody on. Big swing by Mancini now, and this is carrying well to left. Left fielder looking up. Still going back. Gone! A solo shot here to left. Number 18 for him on the campaign. And the Orioles have cut it to a 4-2 ball game. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. At the plate, Renato Nunez. The third baseman. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. 
They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. Line towards center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So that knock keeps the bottom of the sixth inning hot. So a line drive single to center makes it two hits for him this afternoon. And as you can see on the graphic, he currently sits second on the Orioles in that category. Now batting, Austin Hayes, one for two in the ball game thus far. Set and the pitch. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. High and deep to right. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Orioles get a run thanks to the long ball. Bottom third of the order, 7 8 9, due up to start the seventh. It's now 4 to 2. Richard Blyer is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 48. Richard Blyer. Striding into the box, Clint Frazier. He'll match up with a new pitcher to begin their half of the seventh. First pitch on its way. And it's fouled away. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0 and 2. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even at two and two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 oh and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. The 2-2. Two -two. Skied into straightaway right. Therefore, it is Mancini, and that's the first out of the inning. The catcher, number 34, Jake Rogers. Ready once again, Jake Rogers. He's one for two in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4-2 our score. Fouled away. A pause, and the 0-2. Good change up in the dirt. Strike three. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Good job of getting him to chase the ball in the dirt right there. Hey, also credit the catcher for keeping it close and finishing it off with a good throw to first. That's harder than it looks, but big league catchers make it look easy sometimes. Digging in, Kristen Stewart. Lifetime versus this pitcher. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, that's out. That's wide 2 and 0. Oh. Two outs here and the focus needs to stay sharp. You don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. Outside and low 3 and 0. Oh. 
every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. The 3 0. Ah. Late that time for a strike. Looped under that one with that swing, which tells me he was probably anticipating it being a sinker. Hit sharply on the ground. Oh, look at the sliding stop. He's up with it. The throw. Not in time. That was a phenomenal stop, but it winds up a base hit, and the inning continues. Yeah, nobody on right there, Dan. Two outs. It's not every day you see a guy pick him up and put him down like him getting down to first base right there. Bought himself a base hit. Well, I'd say what if you there's a couple of things you can do. It doesn't take a lot of talent to hustle. It doesn't take talent to be on time. And he hustled out of the box, turned what could have been a a ground out to end the inning into an infield single. Up next for the Tigers, the third baseman, Gamer. Big spot here. First and second. Two men gone. And into bat next, it'll be Jamer Candelario. As a look, now the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Mancini makes the catch for out number three. Tigers strand a pair as they can't add to their four to two lead. Gregory Soto gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 65, Gregory Soto. Stepping in, DJ Stewart comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. But this is a foul ball. behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Nope. Ball one. Now a ball lined towards center field. And that's a base hit so the pressure's on to open up the inning. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. Into the box, Anthony Santander, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. No hits to this point. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Nobody out, runner on first. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Step out of the box, take a deep breath. After spitting on that changeup, you might have bought yourself a fastball. Two and two. Swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. In now, Boston wins. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one.
0-1. Here's the pitch. Oh, good spot. On the black for strike two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Runner at first here, one man out. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Chris Davis at the plate now. Oh, tried to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. One and one, the count to Chris Davis. A runner on first with two away. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Hit hard on the ground to third. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. One left for the Orioles. Still down by a count of four to two. Michael Given has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 60, Michael Given. At the plate, Miguel Cabrera. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. Miguel Cabrera. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. That's a ball. And this is low, ball one. Count one and zero. Oh. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. The batter, the first baseman, T.J. Brown. C.J. Crone will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. First pitch of the at bat. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0 2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Well, that's a pitch right there. You gotta just lay off. There's a good chance he's gonna throw it on 0 2. 
And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Now a swing and a miss. Maybe even a foul tip, but it's held onto behind the plate for out number two. The batter. Digging in and looking for more, Jonathan Scope. He's two for three and looking for more here. From the stretch. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Getting late 4 2 our score as we play the eighth inning. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. The 1 1 home. Hit high and deep to right center. Hayes on the run for it. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Down in order go the Tigers, but they still lead this one four to two. Mark Farmer is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 45. But Farmer. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and stepping up as the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. First offering on its way. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. This is wide. One ball and one strike. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. The one two. Sent on the ground out to second. Scope is there. And a good throw gets him one gun. Now back, second baseman, Romo. You're Digging in to try it again, Ramon Urias. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Two mid-90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Ready on one and two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. One out, nobody on. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked Don't sharp and it backed up a nice 15. effort turned in by the starter. Right. These days, pitching has become a full easy. staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. So here's Trey Mancini. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 0 1 pitch. One and one. Speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. 
One, two, three, go the Orioles. They trail it here, four to two. Now at the plate, Nico Goodrum. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. Hit softly down the line at first. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off and it's one and two. Had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one two is looked at for ball number two. And he fouls this one off. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Wins, goes to get it, and the throw is in time. Goodrum is retired, and there's one away. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Clint Frazier will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a high pop up. Davis is under it. Two gone. The catcher, number 34, Jake Rogers. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jake Rogers. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Here it comes, 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 and 0. I'm no pitching coach, but it doesn't look like he's finishing his pitches here. That misses high, ball three. Kristen Stewart would be next. He's set. Here's the 3 0. Taking all the way, and it's 3 and 1 now. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Out of the stretch, here's his 3-1 home. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. The 3 2 pitch. High fly ball out to deep right field. Mancini moving back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Three up, three down for Detroit as they can't add to their 4 to 2 lead.
Joe Jimenez comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 77, Joe Jimenez. Bottom of the inning now, and Leading set to go as the third oil. baseman, Renato Nunez. The third baseman, Renato Nunez. Here comes the first pitch. Hit sharply toward the right side. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough that's first out. The center fielder, Austin Hey. In now for the O's, Austin Hayes. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode at the plate now DJ Stewart nope. a fastball here as he'll take nope. a look at ball one one and oh so far two for three in this one the one oh is swung on and missed strike one Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. He's got it. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Four to two, the final score today. Detroit jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Spencer Turnbull notches his third win of the year. Joe Jimenez wraps it up for the save, his 17th on the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Tigers, four runs on nine hits.